hello welcome to my channel so this is another case study we are doing today so the questions are what are one two and three so we are talking about this and this and this then which one is the most important obstetrically and what's its length then what are four and five okay so uh, what are the what are one two and three so one is uh the true uh, anatomical diameter then two that's the obstetric diameter then three that's the diagonal diameter so you can even pause and actually try to see what we are talking about so one is one which is ending here and then two ending uh, and two as you can see it's ending in the middle and then three ending on the far end of this side okay then uh, the next question in which one is the most important obstetrical so obstetric diameter is one which is important which is uh, number two so that's the obstetric diameter and it measures about 11.5 so the obstetric diameter measures about 11.5 then uh, what are four and five so these are pubic uh, bone or so the four Four is that's the pubic bone, then five that's the sac sacro promontory. So that's the sacro promontory number five. Okay, so this falls under uh, the clinical pelvimetry, and it falls under your clinical pelvimetry or just a pelvimetry in short. So these are very important to know. Uh, so that even when we are, someone is talking of the obstetrical diameter or the conjugate diameter at least you'll be able to know why you have to know about them so that in addition to the by, by the bpd you'll be able to relate okay so pervimetry is an important uh, topic in obstetrics so thank you for watching uh, please subscribe and if you haven't subscribed uh hit the subscribe button and, and like the video so uh, just make sure you go through the uh, pervimetry so there's a clinical pervimetry there is anatomical pervimetry, so just make sure I go through the pervimetry types, okay?